Guido Kripax, my favorite heavy metal artist. I prefer him to Miluminata and Mobius. As much as I admire them, it's Guido Kripax, Norway's Valentina, that I always go back to. If you like new wave films from the 50s and 60s, like Fellini, Godard, and Truffaut, you will appreciate Valentina. It's unfortunate that much of her, this work has not been translated into English. Those are some of the few volumes that are. If you read Spanish, though, you can get Volume 1 of Valentina in hardback. Two. And three. In addition to Valentina, which was Guido Kripak's original creation, he also adapted many works, not only erotica. Oh, there's one more, a few more Valentinas here. This is one of the Italian translations. And this one's also in Italian. He adapted much erotica, notably the story of O, volume one, two, and three based on Polly Rouget's novel. Forget Fifty Shades of Grey, this is the real thing. Pauline Rouget wrote the story of O when her lover rejected her. He was some philosopher in France. Um, so it was a love letter to him. And it's my understanding that it worked. She got him back. This is a hardback. This is uh, Credo Kripax's take on Henry James' Turn of the Screw. Let's just say that this is a much more uh, adult-oriented Turn of the Screw than the, than the short story or well, the novella by Henry James. I Need a Live, Volume 2. I don't know what happened to my Volume 1. This is, I think, the last work he did, Frankenstein, before he died. It was left incomplete. But this work, along with his Dracula, will be out this fall in English. I saw it on Amazon not too long ago. Here's another adaptation he did. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And Emmanuel, for those of you who are old enough to remember, one of the first erotic films, which, well, it wasn't mainstream, but it was as close as it could get back in the 70s. To give you an idea of his style, see which one I can show you here. Mm, let's see. from volume two. Very, very cinematic in storytelling. Very surreal in the true sense of the word. If she looks familiar, like Louise Brooks, it was intentional. Craig Pax liked the way Louise Brooks looked. So, He appropriated her likeness. You haven't read anything quite like it, actually. The stories are quite remarkable. When these were translated into Spanish not too long ago, I was extremely happy. Italian and Spanish are very similar, but I cannot read Italian. Look at that. He would have made a remarkable filmmaker.
His artwork improved throughout the 70s, but it never lost its originality. Guido Creepax.